Oh yeah, party people, good morning. We are in The Witcher, Blood and Wine. And uh, on the last uh, stream, we had a certain ending. And I wanted to go back, and because I know that there's something else that I missed, um, to try and get a different ending. So what I'm going to do is I had saved this prior to defeating Detlaf, and I'm going to... I kind of figured them out now, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get through this pretty quickly. And we're going to go pretty quickly through this. Because after the stream, I went back and noticed that there were some things that I'd missed that could result in a different ending. So let's try it. And uh, that way you guys can kind of see some of the different potential endings here. And uh, and we'll go from here. So I need to defeat that lap again. And I'm going to move fairly quickly on this if I can. Um, to get to the points that I was like, hmm, I should have done this instead. So let's do it. I need to make sure I've got my vampire oil up. I think I do. Yep. We're, we're, we're all good. So we're going to move fast. I want you just the You tricked me. Both of you! Ah! Silence! Ah! Jesus, come on, that look. Man, he keeps blocking me. Pushing that L3 and it keeps saying it's actually not allowed during combat. Yeah, I know. No, oh, I'm done. There we go. Alright, now he turns into the beastie. This part I can't skip. <laughs> Perfect. 
It slices, it dices, it... Boom. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna move fast because I'm gonna see this other ending. Or if there's a potential other ending, because I noticed there was an action that I should have taken that could have led to something different. So let's, I want to explore that real quick and that's what we're doing. Plus I could play this game all day. Loading, loading, loading. All right, I'm going to skip through this where he's at the tailor <clears throat> until he makes the decision. Uh, until he, well, no, until they give you a decision. So let's, do the loading and then I'm going to skip through all the dialogue until we get to a new scene. When I discovered it yesterday, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool that there's other options to make. So let's check it out. Yep, great, great, great. Look at that, level 53. Okay, I'm keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, no, not about the Revenant, this so All that, the dot, huh? Hmm, sir. I've had no reprieve. Me, it's not a it's question. Gonna speed through this. Her plans don't matter now. Do you? He was the one. Okay, so this is where I made one decision. And so I had said that there's no point in um, investigating further. And that's what led to the, the ending that we had yesterday. And I'm saying it's ending. It may not be the ending. There may still be more to it, but there's an outcome there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go back and talk to all in all, the group check up on me. <coughs> Assuming we're done here. I am done. Yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. You're looking good, or Geralt. if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. So instead of ignoring it and going to the ceremony, we're going to go back to the bootblock, who was that little messenger boy, poophead, that... It was snarky and I didn't like him. Maybe we get to kill him, I don't know. Is that wrong? It makes me a bad person. Probably. Loading, loading, loading. Hey, there he is, a little turd. Oh, it's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. 
A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Ooh, look at those fancy. Clean soles. A fine slogan. Yeah, yeah, cut to the chase. Let's go. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars. Tell us more about them. <clears throat> How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots. Others had no boots at all. Oh, I know. They all had no home. <laughs> Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They pick them up, get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must All right. shelter. Look around inside. Just going to save this in a new slot, just so we have it. Talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. Mm -hmm. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. Yeah, I've... Hmm. Let's Decent take a fight. you mention mean yourselves why do you doubt it hell yes hear that Atwa? he poking insults us on our own turf it is all my donkey like punk. fellow <clears throat> my friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own come on <clears throat> Not good. Not good. There we go. Peace out, dude. Alright, that was it. Yeah, I've learned with this game you just need to save as much as possible. Alright. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. <clears throat> I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. <coughs> they dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to hate you. I need some info. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait? 
They'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Yeah, okay. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. A few hours later. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. <laughs> Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, Don't make speak me up. battle you. Romain? Romain, letters? I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all Ooh. swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. Freshy, he got one, but he can't tell you as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the feast of Saint Barnabas. Hmm. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightened. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Yeah, thanks, bud. That's the same dude I beat up. Alright, here's the fifth victim. Gee, I wonder who it is. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. Ah, uh, what's up, dude? I'm, yeah, you must creepy Rapunzel. I did not expect this. This time you will see to our Duquesa. I think that was I yesterday. I estimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Sienna planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn pension for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All seem likely, and <coughs> none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask him yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. I agree. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her, but I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Hey, you wanna come with me? Coming with? Of course not. 
I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. Yeah, awful. She treated Detlaf cruelly. Caused his death in the end, and now this? Atop all that? No, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. He's gonna go get drunk with Ed. You will not find work here. Not paying work. See, so this is how it got. And this is where I think I stopped. And I'm like, oh, I've got to do this stream. Um, so we can kind of see a different outlook. Which I think is super cool. Let's see. Oh, I got a little exclamation point. Inkeep. Ooh, there's a quest available. So what's this? Let's talk to Damien. No, I want to talk to Sienna. Can I call my horse? Yes, I can. All right, Roach, you and me, buddy. And he magically appears. Yes, no. Oh, it looks like no. All right, I'm running. In my new threads. Hello, strumpet. Hello, dog. You're pretty spiffy in your new threads, there, Geralt. And we're running. And we're running. So it's funny. I've seen this hooded woman. Why do they even bother? Because then you go... You try and talk to her and she's like... Oh, nothing. <clears throat> oh well. Why do they make her so mysterious that you can't interact with her? Oh, hello, strumpets. I feel like I just saw these people. Can we pet the dog? No. Nope. Not at all. Not even gonna bother. Guards, guards. Hello. You like my new threads? See, another hooded woman. Let's see. Nothing. So weird. Who is that? Clerk. Bless you. There's no cluster squeezing today. I should try and trigger that again because that is hilarious and gross all at the same time. What's up, Brian? How you doing, man? Good morning. You know me, just doing some Witcher stuff. See if I can get in there. I have very good stamina, I must say. Oh, you know what I want to do? Just in case. What time is it? It's 4 a.m. Just do an hour. Get all my potions back up. There we go. In the matter of? 
Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesa's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Oh, thank then you. Then you've my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. The witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Hang on, Ed. I'll talk in a second. Back to the quick time event. I'm in prison. Deadloff is dead. Could you not just drop it? Siana, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Hmm. Okay, so what I'm doing is I did one ending yesterday. And after the stream, I went back and noticed that there were some decisions that I made that probably that could potentially lead to a different ending. So that's why I'm doing this. Because when I was getting my these wonderful new threads on, I noticed I had a couple of choices. And one was to go back to the little kid, the boot black. And I ignored it. And I ignored the second one and just said, oh, there's nothing more to do. Let's just go to the ceremony and get this over with. And that ending... And that led to a certain outcome, which you can go back to the past video and, and watch. Um, so now what I'm doing is, at that same point, I'm actually going back to the boot black, and this is where it's leading me, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to try this one. Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Oh, she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. Oh, Lord. I'm just going to see this. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her. Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honoria'd it get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? But you could just ask her instead of sending monsters after her. There's nothing she could say to change what she did to me, to justify it. Maybe. But there's <clears throat> nothing out there to justify what you did to her and all too sad. Yet Anna Henrietta hasn't given up on you. Ugh. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher. Or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Siana. Yeah, she's still gonna kill her.
Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Yep. Let's go. Want to see him too. Now I want to save this section just in case I something else happens. I'm expecting something else to happen now, other than what happened last yesterday. So <clears throat> let's see. Damien, Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony? Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me, and I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, two roses. Is that supposed to be the two sisters? All right, so the decision that I made in the ceremony, I, may, I will probably do the opposite and see what we get. My guess is, well, it could go any, either way. I may get the exact same ending, but we'll see. Now that I have new information, though, you never know with these people. They'll always throw a curveball. I look like I'm in a tracksuit. I beg your assistance, your enlightened. Highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. I like her too. She's a good ruler. Your grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest <clears throat> to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Hello, Gerald. laughs> We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher. Who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast? Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder. Why is everybody to walking you around? That the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. Okay, she gets a sip and I don't. More familiar terms now. I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. Let's the gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Uh, here we go. I am, and truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. 
this cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. Oh boy. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? Alright, so this may still go the same way. To me, yet what you tell me now I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders, which recently okay, ravaged see if we get our fair different. city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. Wait, that's not her. That's not her either. All right. <laughs> the Witcher something. will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlav. You yourself would never stoop so low. <laughs> Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. Now they should I give now me... hear what he has to say. I'm assuming they'll give me an additional options. Yeah. We're just going to do Your this race. One. Siana's guilt is clear. None have cause to doubt it. But before you decide, you should hear her out. The right to a defense is hers, as it applies to all who stand accused. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. They'd hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents had always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go with children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark. I'm sorry, and what? which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bald patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. 
I was too afraid. What's up, Sir Duckington? They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Oh. <clears throat> Forgive me. forgive you. Here we go. No. I think it's still, it's going to be the same ending. No. Hey. So we did get a different ending. Interesting. I was hoping there'd be a final battle when they duke it out and whatever. High expectations, I guess. No, it's all good. Cool. I don't... Yeah, that's definitely what I wanted to see. The best part of the whole ceremony, it was short. And now I'm getting plastered with lemony snippets over you, here. As you ducked out early, the others are probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. It really doesn't. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine gulp. Good in small sips. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile. All right, all right. display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? Sure. If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves. What's and going on, man? How you doing? Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. All right, let's put on the mask and gloves. Oh, look at that. Gloves for picking Mandrake. Oh, I hear that, man. I get super tired, too. Alright. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you?
Oh yeah, I got a loot dude. There's one. Here we go. Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Oh man, is he gonna kill me or something? Down. He's a vampire. Or try to kill me. Regis. Snap. He's gonna try and kill me because I killed his friend. Isn't he? Nice twist, CD Project Red. Regis. Yes, now where to go. Regis. Where'd you go? Let's just see how many times you can say that. Regis! No, it's telling me to go back. Damn it, where'd you go? <laughs> Regis! Where'd you go? There we go. Regis. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another... Role, Jason! An unwritten Jason! One, I never played Heavy Rain, but I know we talked about it in a podcast episode. summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Agreed. Some time later, still drunk. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm oh, he's hammered. Find beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Oh, my kind of source is so annoying. Sewer. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco Vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you in your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally... Have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Well, I don't know yet. Uh, don't really know yet. I'd find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. 
I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. Oh yeah, Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. I like we this guy's VO. We a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, God bless you. Our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stain, Beauclair. Far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Look at that. Sit here a while longer. Look at that. So we shall, my friend. Nice. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Hm. Nice. Yeah, all right. There it is. Very, very cool. That's kind of what I wanted. I mean, the other way was good too. Oh, that's exciting. Cool, cool, cool. It's, <laughs> it's over Arctic. It's over. Yeah, man, I don't, uh, since Ed's taking up all the games and playing them and streaming them, I'm not going to be able to do any streaming probably until Assassin's Creed or any of the new games. Um, I did call dibs on Assassin's Creed. I don't know who's going to take Shadow of War. And if nobody takes either of those, Ed, um, I'll take those. I, I know I definitely got dibs on Assassin's Creed. But in the meantime, what I'm going to end up doing is, uh, my backlog. So I don't know. <clears throat> I may start with Horizon Zero Dawn. I still have to go pick that up and uh, and go from there. So yeah, it'll be good. Oh, that was great, man. That was exciting. Let's skip this. I know I had. Actually, I'd love to go home. Oh, I don't know. I thought they said they weren't going to do one, but I think it'd be awesome if they did a Witcher 4. If that's the case, there goes like three months of my life. Um, yeah, the secondary quest, there was just a Gwent one. Oh, I did have a Witcher contract. Let's do that real quick. I've got a little, a little bit of time. It involves a beastie beastie, and it's right over here. So let me get to this that's cool that was a great expansion holy cow I feel so accomplished not really I'm just glad all right let's go here And let's see what we got. Yeah, it'll be fun. Now this fall, man, we've got tons of games. I don't really know if I can stream the Fractured Butthole as much as I'd love to. Uh, I'm sure other people will, but we, we like to kind of keep our channel clean. And it is, by all means, not clean. I saw some more gameplay of it, and it is hilarious, but very much for mature audiences. <laughs> Which, we're all mature here. Maybe I'll do like a secret channel. Oh, maybe a secret channel would be fun. We'll call it the Tiger Claw channel, and then I can do all kinds of, I won't advertise it, and 
I'll just send invites to specific people. My morning crew. And if they want a good laugh, we can watch it together. Uh, why am I running? I should have my horse. Alright, Francois, where are you? Oh, that's right, there's a cave entrance. Gotta go down. Cave entrance. Gotta go down. Holt, master. A beast lurks in there. Right. Expected as much, cause I... Shh, quiet, before you wake it. I've camped nearby. We shall talk there. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Geralt. Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. I'm coming to do witcher duties. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Takes two weeks, that? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. Yeah, let me do it for you. All in all, uh, I suppose you're right. <sighs> we must fight side by side, then. For honor! So he hasn't mustered up the courage. This guy's gonna get in my way, I can feel it. Where are we going? Oh, by the way. Grotore. But I should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. <laughs> mm, strange. No sign of Gratore. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we turn. Message. You'd think you were in a winter garden. <laughs> exactly. <coughs> yeah, I totally thought the same thing. Oh, I got a flute. That's good. I always pick up these mushrooms. Alright, so... Not here. Let's go back. Go this way. Yeah, there we go. Bones. Small skull. Fontanelle's not completely closed. Infant. Various, various sundries, some tools. Gratori must have taken them from its victims. It's gonna be like a baby. Filled with children's shoes. Doubt I've ever seen a collection of this grotesque. Hmm, gosh. So, where are you? Read it. Where 
for you. Okay, where are you? I think it's not an insectoid, I don't think. It's a. Where are you? There we are. Okay. So, mutant bomb, relic oil, and igni. Perfect. So I need Igni. Let's do Relic Oil on the old sword. Sectoid Relic. Ooh. Gives me 25% attack power. No problem, I can do that. Don't get in the fire, dude. There we go. Oh, you are ugly. Hello, sir. This is. I hate those things. Oh. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Seriously, I'm gonna die. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm so almost dead. Need to recover a little bit. Oh, I hate those things. Take his head. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I should cut down another, more terrible beast. Really? Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. Yes. I beg your pardon, that I wish to make my beloved's name known the world over to bring her glory. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels, all that's nothing to do with hunting monsters, which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Find some other way to prove your valor. Only thing you've proven so far is that you're a fool. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction of the trip for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, <laughs> I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. Hey, right, give me my reward, let's go. Ooh. 
Alrighty. Let's return. Collect our reward. Fine. That's the easy one. It helps that I'm like, I got five or six levels ahead of this beast. Let's just do a little running or yogging, shall we? Oh, where we go? Oh. Steady, Roach. Slow now. Whoa. Running in with the deer. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, where am I going now? Slow now. Why are they putting me this way? Going through the castle, bump, 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 riding on a purple horse, bump, 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 bump. Let's cut through. Oh no, can't. Come on. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, Roach? Whoa! This way. There we go. Good boy. This way. Keep it going. Come on now. Oh, for crying out loud. Let's go. And we're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. 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 More running. Come on. That suit looks awesome, right? <clears throat> Not the butcher. I mean, I have killed a few. Whoop, excuse me. Oh, he just appeared out of nowhere. Ooh, merchant. Let's see. Oh, that's the bank. They don't like me. Let's keep it moving. My head shakes so bad. I cannot hold my tools. Oh no, so sad. What is going on? Where are we going? <clears throat> Alright, there she is. Better to die and drink than on board. Uh, nope, up. There you are. There you go, a jacket. Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> oh boy. Three nuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Congratulations, I guess. Hmm. Wish you happiness, both of you. And good fortune to you on your path. Your reward, Master. And Godspeed. Can you benefit? Oh, there it is. Ah. Let's go home. Let's just finish this quest. Be go home. Back to my little pad. So, what'd you guys think? Good DLC, right? Oh, this game is so good. I couldn't recommend it more to anybody. If you haven't played it, if you had a choice between Skyrim and Witcher, take the Witcher, hands down. It's just so good. Let's see, what am I going to do? 
There he is. <coughs> There's the major domo. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Is it Yennefer? I bet it is. Totally is. It's got to be, right? It's either Siri or Yennefer or all of them. Unexpected as ah, ha, ha, ha. Called it. And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. God, they're made for each other. All your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and <laughs> stare at the sky. Like some <laughs> shitty two crown romance. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Absolutely. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Hmm. Quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. Huh. Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few awesome. weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. Sweet. I have no goal. Chill with me, you know we'll drink, we'll have fun. I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Liking Tucson so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, we're black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. These two couldn't be I more perfect I for one another. I stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Done. Bring you whatever you want. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> well, it was bequeathed to me. It was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. And here comes a random pheasant on the left. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes. Although, there's one thing missing. Namely... I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, has four legs, category taxidermy. Oh, yeah. The unicorn. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. You can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. All right, so we have a unicorn. Ever thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. 
You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that start, anyway? Our duels and wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. Here it is. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> That's pretty much how it should end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is The Witcher Blood and Wine DLC in the books. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love this, and I love this game. And like I said, if anybody hasn't played it, please get the complete edition or the game of the year edition. And I'll, I'll see you in three months because you're going to love it. So thanks, everybody, and I hope everyone has a good day.